Yo, Ski! What's up, everybody, man? Y'all know who I be. It's your man, Pooh. C-Y-G-G. Man, I'm back with another reaction video, and today, I'm about to be reacting to the Madden 22 franchi franchise, all access deep dive, gameplay deep dive trailer, whatever, you know what I'm saying? They just premiering it right now. I'm trying to catch it as soon as possible. Link to the original video will be in the description below. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and hit that notification button if you want to be notified when I'm making a gaming video, reaction video, rant video, any type of video, and with that being said, let's jump into this video. Hey everyone, Connor Dugan here, Senior Design Director on Madden NFL 22. Bye, this week one. Super excited to be here with you today to share some of the awesome work our teams are doing, specifically on franchise and Madden 22. Get ready. I'm gonna tell y'all one thing real quick. I'm, I'm not even going to address the gameplay no more because it's almost like beating a dead horse with a stick at this point. Uh, Madden franchise is going to be stuck with the fran um, the Frostbite engine for a while. So every Madden is going to continue to look the same from now on. So Madden 19, Madden, Madden 18, Madden 19, Madden 20, Madden 21, Madden 22. All these games going to look alike. All these games going to look alike because it's still running on Frostbite engine. Frostbite engine can only do so much. So I'm not even going to talk about the gameplay and the same animations and stuff anymore because that's just what, what is expected with the Frostbite engine in the, at this point. You're not going to see much difference. That's It's just that. Because we're about to go deep. Some new franchise. Same rack catch animation. See what I'm saying? You just got to expect that. Franchise features that we'll talk about today include franchise staff and new staff points. The importance of weekly strategy and the integration of dynamic game day on next-gen consoles, an enhanced season engine, franchise hub updates, tuning, and more. We need to have access to more uniforms and the relocation. Why? It's, it's been, what, 10 years now? And we still can't choose all three uniforms? Instead, of we, we got to stick one uniform and then just be stuck to that. Bro, y'all ain't adjusted that yet. And it's been, open, bro, it's been over five, six years of people asking that. That should be on the list. With new franchise staff, you're in control of... Okay, now let's see this. View talent tree. I like that. And there you go. Okay. Staff modification, talent, guru, motivator, elite, general, uh, maverick. Okay, I'm liking that. Player growth, talent, arch rival. Mm-hmm. Up and corner. All right. Up and corner. That's what they say. All right. Power broker. Late bloomer. Okay. You get... I, I like this. I like that you get to, you know, actually, we, we finally get access to an offensive coordinator and defensive coordinator, and then you got a player personnel right there. I like that. I really do like that. Man, I can say that is an improvement. I will gladly say that. Let me take this off. Everything from the front office to the field. Franchise staff is meant to empower you to build, grow, and customize your coaching staff using a new RPG talent tree system. I like that. I like this. But how much of... See, I'm going to tell y'all this. This this, I'm, this this some real stuff I'm about to tell y'all right now. I really like the way they are implementing this. The problem with how it's implemented is... This can all just be a bunch of dress-up stuff if the gameplay isn't truly affected by none of these outside working entities. If none of these things actually affect the gameplay itself, then or the gameplay doesn't change or the animation doesn't vary based on these intricate, you know, details that are, you know, assets to the um, players or whatever. None of this really matters. It's like going to practice and getting XP points. You can practice and get the gold medal all day, but if all you got to do is go into the game and run play action crosses, none of this matters. None of this matters if you can just find one play that works. That's the only bad thing about this. I like it, but that's the only bad thing because it has to deal with gameplay. System. So you can build a team that fits your play style. There will be more than 60 different talents to choose from at launch with more to be added via our Madden 22 Franchise Live Service Plan. Plus... Oh, wait a minute. They finally allowed Sean Payton to be in the game? That's new. The number one most requested improvement by our players to franchise is scouting. We're targeting September for the release of scouting through a live service update. Ma See, I like this too. I like the scouting. But the problem is, once again, scouting different areas for certain type of players... That is good. 
But if all you got to do is just trade up and pick some people. Well, let me see how the scout hiring works. Let Because I may just be jumping ahead of the gun and I just need to be informed more. So I'm, I'm not going to stop it. I'm going to actually let them elaborate. This requested improvement by our players to franchise is scouting. We're targeting September for the release of scouting through a live service update. Madden 22's revamped scouting feature will allow you to manage and assign your scouting staff with all new national and regional scouts. We'll have a whole new and much more in-depth system for uncovering details about your prospects. And just like real life, players will move up and down the draft board all season long. Now, I do like this, simply because I got to see how it works out. But instead of just clicking square, 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 and all that stuff, it you know what I'm saying? It's, it's actually easy. And, um, of course, if you got edit player, you're just going to have some people who just want to edit player just to see the stats easy. But that's because they're going to ruin the experience for themselves. But for people who want to have more of the draft type feel and actual, you know, scouting type, this is going to actually be an improvement for them. You know what I'm saying? People like myself, I like actually doing the scouting and, and making a good pick and making a bad pick. But if you're a person that just want to control all your picks and they all be good, then you you really not playing franchise mode. You're really playing fantasy draft within franchise mode when you do it like that because you're cheating the draft. You're not really trying to actually see if you're going to pick good or bad. You just want to pick good every time. So for those people, it's, it's not going to be too good, but for the people who actually want to get that feel of it, this is a great addition. We'll have more to share on scouting later in the summer. Your franchise staff is made up of four positions. Head coach, an offensive and a defensive coordinator, and a player personnel department. Now I bet you're wondering about those new staff points we mentioned at the top. Staff points can be earned weekly by setting goals, playing your games, and completing objectives. Then you can use staff points to upgrade your staff through coach talents. Easy, right? Next up, weekly strategy and dynamic game day integration. Each week in the NFL presents a new challenge for players, coaches, teams, and fans. Weekly strategy. Um, what is that? Top threat. Okay, so for this one, it's gonna be um, what? Pick your opponent's tendencies. Um, less reach tackles inside, more reach tackles to the out. Oh, okay. G and Madden Twenty Two is designed to. Increase the chance of double move fake out versus offensive coverage. Oh, okay. Mimic the dynamic environment while offering you the chance to. Boost to a deep route, deep route run versus man coverage. My thing is, I like this. I understand it. I like that this dynamic is added within the game. But my point is, if we're still going to be doing frostbite engine, all people are going to do is run deep out post, deep in post, and crossers. And they're just going to, it's like, it's, it's almost going to be like none of this existed. It's almost going to be like none of this existed because that's all you have to do. Deep out post, any plays, bunch to the right, deep out post, deep in post crossers and it's almost like do this game plan really exist and it, it's not the fact that this isn't good this is good but the game itself due to it still running off things that we have seen for the past years and the engine being the same it's almost like the gameplay itself is going to destroy this it's like none of this is going to matter because the game itself once you get in it and start playing it it's not going to feel different this right here is different, but the gameplay itself, due to it being on Frostbite, is going to kill the progression of it. To confront and overcome various challenges in different ways. In essence, weekly strategy is really the core of your franchise experience. Who you play, where you play, and when you play all matter more than ever. Look at that. That's happening. Through next-gen stats and the dynamic game day integration, you'll be able to study your opponent's strengths and weaknesses with detailed statistical... And stuff like that, like with the Lamar Jackson, I like them stopping him from scrambling, but the thing is, anytime I play Lamar Jackson, he don't really scramble. So, you got to actually make people live up to 
their actual player types in order for certain things and certain game plan game plans to even be effective. And it seemed like the only time game plans are really effective is when you are offense going against defensive players because everybody just do what they're supposed to do at defensive position anyway. Aaron Donald's supposed to get to the quarterback. Jalen Rams is supposed to catch an interception. It's like stuff like that. Does it really matter? So it's like you, uh, y'all get what I'm saying, man. Go and play calling info. Manage your team's fatigue levels throughout the season by controlling practice intensity and reps okay. between game okay, days. Nice. Plus, okay. you can assess your first half performance, make adjustments at halftime, and come out of the locker room better prepared for the second half. Because when game day happens, you can never be too ready. Here are some additional details on what you can expect to see in weekly strategy. NFL players, coaches, and GMs encounter a roller coaster of scenarios every day, every week, all season long. And the enhanced season engine in Madden 22 was built to emulate these true to life ups and downs of the NFL. I mean, I'm, I'm gonna put it like this I like this edition. They took it from Face of the Franchise and they're adding it in the CFM. I actually like that because it provides a newer dynamic instead of just clicking from week to week. You actually have something added to at least add enough spice to actually enjoy CFM. So I'm actually going to say I actually like this edition as well. This is a great edition. It is. I, I like it, me personally, because it's more than just week to week. Oh, yeah. Well, look, next week, let's play this game. All right. Next week, let's play this game. All right. Next week, let's play this game. It's like at least I get to do something in between it. I get to answer some questions. That's not just at the bottom of the screen. I actually get to interact with reporters. Even if it's only a two-choice answer, something is better than nothing. I like that. Madden 22 will launch with over 35 scenarios and will add more as part of our continued franchise live service commitment. One example is the perfect chemistry scenario. During the season, an elite quarterback can trigger a tiered breakout for a young receiver. As the weeks go on, the challenges get tougher, but the rewards increase giving you the chance to take a middling wide receiver and turn them into one of the league's rising stars. Scenarios like this will allow you to experience more fun and engaging choices, goals, and challenges that lead to meaningful rewards in-game. This expansive catalog of narrative-driven NFL content will start at launch and continue throughout the year, featuring new choices and challenges that are unique to each story with an impact on both your on-field gameplay as well as your off-field decision-making. We've also completely revamped the Franchise Hub to make the most okay, important information about your franchise more accessible to you. Some of the updates you will see on the new Franchise Hub. I like how they look. That's way better. But we, I'm, I'm used to seeing a new user interface every year. I mean, that's just Madden in general. So it's really not too much different. So, I mean, I like it. I like it. This, Madden does excel when it comes to having a new user interface. I like that. I like that they got top player down there and stuff like that. I like that it's made like fantasy football. Like, you know what I'm saying? It's like you tracking your fantasy football players, you know, stats and stuff. I like how it looks. I'm going to say that. I like how it looks. I'll include an activities list that displays what you need to do each week. I like how everything is accessible. View playoff picture. Player meeting. Short week. Players ready to negotiate. Scout players. Weekly strategy. Upgrade players. Manage staff. I like how all those things are highly accessible right there within that on side of the screen. It's easier to navigate. I like that. Your goals for the week, so you know what you need to accomplish to earn rewards. An updated news screen that keeps you informed of the top stories and reactions from around the league. Faster access to roster management screens like signing free agents, like adjusting that. your depth chart, or trading for players. A league tab that surfaces more data to your league versus hunting for information like in that. your stat. I like that. Stats and awards. Um, X Factor database. I like that. Um, receiving leader. You got Jamison Crowder right there. And then you got Kenna. I like how they got that set up on the right side. Passing leaders and stuff like that. I like that. That is nice. You know, the schedule that. The UI is very, um, I like it. I like how, how up to date it is. I like that. It's nice. It's um, easily accessible. Everything is right there and it looks nice. I like that. That screens and a member screen for your online franchise that is easily accessible. Yep. Thanks for spending your time with us to learn more about what's new in franchise in Madden NFL 22. Stay tuned for EA Sports Madden NFL 22 channels for more information on the game ahead of the worldwide launch. All right.
Positives, a lot of new things that's being implemented. Um, I like the UI interface, which, you know what I'm saying, that just keeps you, you know, intrigued, being able to look at things. It don't keep your um, attention low. Things don't get boring too fast. Um, I like how they are implementing the coaching system, the scouting system, and stuff like that. The negatives, relocation teams still ain't got no love. When you pick one of them same damn teams you've seen for years, you will still have to pick one uniform. You can't have all of them as alternate uniforms. Give us all of those uniforms and have one as an alternate, one, one as an alternate, two. Those uniform combination give a lot of people something to look forward to. It gives us a reason to enjoy the relocation because we have extra options to pick from in our uniform choices. Allow us that access. Bro, we've been picking the same uniform for the past over six years. So you can at least grant us that. In the next gen, at least, damn. The only other thing that I've heard that they might implement is that they're going to allow some yard uniforms, some uniforms from the yard, to be utilized within CFM as relocation uniform. And that's a tiny bit. That's a tiny bit if that actually happens. But that's the only closest way they're going to get to actually implement new uniforms. And that's going to be an already complete set together. I don't think you're going to be able to edit that. You're just going to be able to choose a complete set. Now, um, another negative is the gameplay itself. All these things are great additions to the franchise mode. I will say that. They are great additions to the franchise mode. But due to the Frostbite engine being the same as past year's game, I don't know if the game itself is going to actually stand up. Like, do I feel like the game is going to feel so much of the same as last year. People are going to get so bored out so quick. You're going to overlook those great additions because of how the game feels. Because those things that's outside the game don't affect how the game plays. That's the Frostbite engine itself. So, if the Frostbite engine isn't different along with the game, um, the things outside of the game being different, you're not getting a different game. You're just getting a different hub with the same game. And the same game with just a different hub. That's all you're getting, man. But let me know what you guys think about the video. Until next time, it's your man, Pooh. C-Y-G-G, -G, and I'm out.